What's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Smash that like and subscribe. This is going to be sick. Hello, everyone. My name is Zoe, and this is Namrata, Zach, and Emmy. And we're here to show you the magic of matter. Yeah. <laughs> so, the other day, Zoe and I were talking, right? And Zoe says that even when a physical change happens, the matter of the substance will not change. And honestly, I'm not too sure if I believe that. Personally, I agree with Zoe. I don't know. I kind of agree with that. Well, we're here today. I'm going to show you right now why I'm right. All I need is this ice and this cup and a scale and patience. Do you know what a scale does? Well, it's used to measure the mass of stuff, right? Yeah, correct. Now we'll put this cup of ice on the electronic scale to determine the initial mass. Also, it's important to remember to zero out the scale so you're only getting the mass of the ice, not a combination of both the cup and the ice. Now we will wait. Darn, they were the exact same even though they looked nothing alike. How is this possible? Well, you see, the law of conservation of mass states that during any physical change, the mass of matter remains the same. This means that in processes like melting, freezing, and dissolving, the mass doesn't change even though it may appear different than before. That's right. And since we just observed the ice cube changing its state from a solid to a liquid, which is a physical change, the mass is conserved. Wait. So you mean that you could have 1 million grams of ice and if melted, you would get 1 million grams of water? Yeah, under ideal conditions that would be the case. However, as a scientist, it's important to recognize that there are still many ways that some matter can be lost. In your example, it is possible that the 1 million grams of ice will show up 900,000 grams of melted water due to the possibility of water evaporation um, influencing your change of mass. Wow, science is cool.